let's talk about Meta first of all. Clearly uh, declining uh, pre-market quite sharply, and it follows a, a sharp decline year to date. How bad were these numbers? So I think they need to be put in perspective relative to Google, right? You look at Meta last night, revenue came in at down 1% year on year, the first ever year on year revenue decline. And that's in stark contrast to Google, which was able to post a 13% increase year on year. So objectively, they're not good, but I think we also need to take a step back. They were in line with their guide for the current quarter, despite significant FX headwinds. And I think all eyes are really on the guidance, which is calling for another deceleration into the September quarter. So. Certainly not a robust, a robust set of results, but the stock's also priced that way. It's priced at just 15 times next year's revised lower earnings. So Meta's facing a significant amount of headwinds, including Apple platform changes, competition from TikTok. They weren't a great set of results, but very much in line with investor expectations from my standpoint. And let's talk about some of those factors and headwinds they're facing, because clearly on the call, Zuckerberg, as I just referenced, was talking about the, the overall economy having a bit of a slowdown. Is that their biggest problem or is it structural? Is it the threats from the likes of TikTok? So the, the economy is, is clearly slowing, but that's not going to be idiosyncratic to Meta. You, and again, I think it's a great example to put it in contrast relative to Google's earnings from, uh, from two nights ago, where both are facing economic headwinds, yet one's able to grow revenue by 13% and one's able to grow revenue, uh, not able to grow revenue at all, actually registering in a decline, right? So again, I think that speaks to very company-specific factors that Meta is facing against, right? You have competition from TikTok. You have Reels monetization issues. You have Apple platform changes from a uh, privacy standpoint, which are impacting their ability to monetize. Uh, if you look at Meta's pricing, they were down 14% year on year. So a lot of company specific headwinds that have really impact Meta, in addition to all the C-suite changes, right? You had Cheryl leave, you're having a CFO transition right now. Uh, so a lot of company specific issues. Uh, so it's Apple and Amazon's turn today. Let's hit Amazon first of all. I mean, clearly we've had some hints as to their numbers, whether it's Walmart and Shopify on the retail side or Microsoft and Google on the cloud side. Are you optimistic or, or pessimistic ahead of their numbers? I'm actually relatively more optimistic heading into Amazon tonight. I think you've got expectations which are certainly lowered uh, post Shopify, post Walmart, which obviously goes to speak to uh, the consumer changes, uh, consumer preferences which are changing as we think about inflation really impacting the consumer. But on the positive side, take a look at Microsoft Azure in terms of the results that they just posted, which I think is a, a pretty good read through with respect to Amazon's AWS uh, Web Services, which is their cloud computing platform, which is really the profit center for the company. So I think we've got a good read as it relates to their uh, high profit margin AWS business. And I think a lot of the issues that Walmart was facing in terms of groceries and higher costs, you might not necessarily see that as much relative to Amazon. And investor expectations are incredibly low. Investors are bracing for a 50% negative revision relative to expectations heading into September quarter relative to operating income. So I think expectations are in a really good place. What, what about Apple? Are they more heavily exposed to, to the slowing economy? So it's interesting, right? I, th I think there's a lot of concern heading into the second half of the year, especially given inflation impacting the consumer, the ability to sell a $1,500 smartphone. But listen to Qualcomm last night. Uh, Qualcomm, which is one of the key suppliers to Apple, went out of their way to emphasize real resiliency at the premium tier. That's a significant uh, tailwind to Apple. And I think that's certainly in line with, uh, with our channel checks as it relates to the health of Apple's business in the June quarter. So I think I'm actually pretty optimistic as well in terms of Apple's ability to uh, to navigate the current environment uh, FX aside. C clearly, uh, so far this week, the, the, the winners of mega cap uh, tech earnings uh, have been uh, Google and, and Microsoft. Were they outright strong numbers or, or just uh, the pick of a, a poor bunch following big share price declines for the group as a whole? Yeah, no, I think that's a great point. And I think it's, it's more the latter, right? I mean, I can't emphasize enough how horrible investor expectations and sentiment is right now to the point where you're seeing these relief rallies because stocks are just too cheap, whether it's uh, whether it's Microsoft or Google, which, you know, Google was a great example trading at just 10 times EBITDA sub S&P earnings multiple for, you know, we're, we're potentially in a recession and they're still growing revenues by 13% year on year. So objectively, you know, they are you're certainly having misses across the board, but they are better than investor expectations and stocks are appropriately discounted and you're seeing these relief rallies in the context of potentially uh, peaking Fed. So I, I think that's why we're seeing that positive backdrop and follow through.
And just quickly, Jared, of all those mega cap uh, names that we've just uh, mentioned, which is the top pick uh, for you at Jefferies? I think in, in general, when you look at uh, you, you look across the uh, the mega cap names, you know, Google is certainly a name that I think is is priced attractively. And it's the ability to withstand the economic headwinds with posting 13% year-on-year revenue growth at a very attractive valuation certainly stands out to me.